Initially, Germany favored electrical power over the internal combustion engine. The Siemens and Herschel companies produced electric carriages beginning in 1882. These models are available for tourist rides in Berlin and Dresden. This hybrid Prius was spotted in front of the Adlon Hotel, made famous by Michael Jackson when he dangled his child from a hotel window. Germany still has nuclear plants, which Chancellor Angela Merkel announced would be shut down by 2022. There's a new race on in Germany's outrageously fast autobahns, and it has to do with electric vehicles competing to be the biggest seller. Germany launched a campaign in 2014 to put 1 million electric cars on the roads by 2020. While in Berlin, we walked into a VW showroom and were pleasantly greeted by the team there. We accepted their offer to give us a test drive. And so here we are stopped completely so there's no energy being used. And now that we are moving, energy flow the park assist feature was She's amazing steering and it's parking itself in the garage There's a good camera. And we're next to another car. And, now it's finished. and also next to a a column and it made it into between both. That was so exciting! <laughs> wow. This flashy red car is a concept car for the future. Tesla Model S was seen near Berlin's Victory Column as it's reflected on the hood. One of the first sights upon arriving at Amsterdam's airport is the number of Tesla taxis or private vehicles in the area. There are other EVs as well. The Dutch government set a target of 15,000 to 20,000 electric vehicles on the roads in 2015. By 2018, there were 22,000 electric vehicles. The two-seater Beetle is produced by the Italian company Estrima. Bicycles are a very popular mode of transportation around the cities. The top selling plug-in electric car in 2016 was the Mitsubishi Outlander. The Swedish government will increase taxes on petrol vehicles and increase EV bonuses this summer. Norway supposedly boasts the largest number of electric vehicles in the world, and it owes it to the electricity generated by hydropower. One in every 100 passenger cars is a plug-in vehicle. Government incentives also have spurred the sale of EVs. Too many incentives 
also created complaints by those not owning EVs. No doubt they were envious. In Bergen's main tourist district, you will see EVs pass by every minute. from the main cities one can find plenty of charging stations. Oslo appears to have the largest concentration of Teslas, but probably Atherton, California can dispute this. As you can tell, I'm biased towards Tesla, the company that awoke traditional automakers to the future of electric cars. charging or do you have to pay for it? No, it's free. It is not uh, supercharging here. It's only normal charging. Yeah. It's, it's level 2, level 2 charging? It's not, it's not working with the key, you know. It's only... I have like one like this here. Yeah. It's very big problem for me. Yeah, it is. dramatically from 5,000 in 2015 to 700 in 2017 due to the center-right government phasing out subsidies. Tesla was greatly affected by this turn of events. Denmark's bicycle culture features electric bike rentals. No, this is not an EV, not yet anyway. These cars participated in a Polish car rally. So the future with uh, Lamborghini is going to be electric, you think? Yes? I think it's yes, nice. yes. Hybrid and uh, full electric, this is future. Very few EVs can be seen in Poland but it appears that that infrastructure is gradually being put into place. If you like this video, please share it so we can get more EVs on the road.